What if Mace Windu survived? The Jedi Master was known for his duality in the Force, the light, and the dark. As he fell to the streets of Coruscant, the dark side took over. He was angry at what Anakin had done, and he blamed himself for the downfall of the Jedi. It was the dark side that gave him the power to survive. In his descent, he managed to land in an open cockpit speeder. The pilot caught off guard was frightened, causing him to lose control and crash. Mace fueled by a singular purpose kill Palpatine emerged from the crash. Mortally wounded, he made his way into the depths of Coruscant and found an illegal medical practice where he would receive cybernetics and a back to tank to heal himself. The Jedi were wanted targets now, and soon, Mace would be turned in by one of the doctors. This only fueled his anger. Fighting his way out of Coruscant, he made his way to a remote planet in the Outer Rim where his true plans for revenge would start to take shape. Before we continue, I'm about to reveal the first big giveaway for the channel, and trust me, you don't want to miss out. To be qualified, all you have to do is subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. But for now, back to the story. Ace Windu would spend some time on this remote planet, but his focus was clearer than ever to eliminate Palpatine and with him, the Empire. On this planet, there was an abandoned Jedi temple that was in use during the High Republic. It was covered in vines and looked like it hadn't been touched in ages. Mace decided to explore it, hoping to find something anything that can help him with his mission. As he journeyed through the temple, Mace discovered it wasn't entirely deserted. There were signs that someone or something had been here recently. He found old training rooms, libraries filled with ancient books, and finally, in the heart of the temple, a chamber that housed a single object on a pedestal an old Jedi holocron. This wasn't just any holocron, it was rumored to contain a map of prophesized force sensitives that have existed and that will exist. The thought that there could be others out there, potentially allies in this fight against the Empire, sparked a new hope in Mace. Mace managed to activate the holocron. It projected a map of the galaxy, pinpointing locations where these prophesized force sensitives were or would be. Some were in the most remote corners of the galaxy, others were in plain sight within the Empire's reach. Mace Windu would meet the first force sensitive, a young man about 20 years old, working as a miner on a planet exploited by the Empire. When Mace confronted him, the young man acted as if what Mace was saying was beyond belief, claiming he had no knowledge of the force. But Mace's patience was thin. Without warning, Mace swung his fist at the man, who, with surprisingly quick reflexes, dodged the attack. It was clear he was attuned with the Force. His ability to evade Mace's blows was no mere coincidence. Impressed, yet undeterred, Mace intensified his assault. His attacks gaining in ferocity, his punches began to connect, forcing the young man to stumble backwards. Mace advanced, and in a moment of desperation, the young man used the Force to push Mace back. A smile crept across Mace's face, not out of malice, but from the realization of this young man's potential. He pursued him relentlessly, and with a final move, he knocked him down, effectively ending the confrontation. Mace then extended his hand, offering to lift the young man to his feet. You have the force within you. You've been using it, perhaps without understanding, but it's there, and it's strong. The young man, panting and bewildered, accepted Mace's hand and stood up, facing the Jedi Master. I... I don't understand. The force? Like in the stories? Yes, like in the stories, and much more. It's what connects all living things. It's what gave you the ability to evade my attacks, and to push me back. You have a gift, and with the right training, you could use it to make a difference. The young man looked around the desolate, empire-controlled mine that had been his life, then back at Mace. The idea of a different path, a chance to change his destiny, and possibly the destiny of others, sparked something within him. But what can I do? The Empire, it's too powerful. Alone, perhaps. But together, with others like you, we can fight back. We can restore balance and bring hope back to the galaxy. The decision wasn't easy for the young man, but the encounter with Mace Windu had altered the course of his life. The Force, a concept he had only heard of in whispered tales, was real, and it was a part of him. With Mace's guidance, he could learn to harness it, to stand up against the tyranny of the Empire. And so, with a mixture of fear, excitement, and determination, the young man agreed to follow Mace Windu, to learn the ways of the Force, 
and to join the fight to restore freedom to the galaxy. This was the beginning of Mace Windu's New Jedi Order, a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. With his first apprentice, Davin, by his side, Mace Windu embarked on a mission, not just to teach the ways of the Jedi, but to forge a new path that would be essential in defeating the Sith. Mace knew all too well the challenges that laid ahead. The traditional methods of the Jedi Order had failed to prevent the rise of the Sith and the fall of the Republic. To succeed where the Order had failed, Mace believed the new Jedi must embrace a broader understanding of the Force, one that included mastery of both the light and the dark sides. Davin, intrigued by Mace's vision, dedicated himself to the teachings with an eagerness that impressed even the seasoned Jedi Master. Mace taught him the principles of the Force, how to wield a lightsaber, and the importance of maintaining balance within oneself. But the most challenging and controversial part of Davin's training was learning Vapod, the seventh form of lightsaber combat that Mace himself had mastered. Vapod was more than just a fighting style, it was a state of mind that required the user to channel their own inner darkness and use it against their opponent without succumbing to it. It was a dangerous path. However, Mace believed with the proper guidance and a strong will, Davin could master Vapod without falling victim to the dark side. As Davin's training progressed, Mace saw in him the potential for a new kind of Jedi, one who could navigate the complexities of the Force in ways the Old Order never could. Together, they practiced, sparred, and meditated, pushing each other to new heights. Mace shared with Davin not just the techniques of the Jedi, but the lessons he had learned from his own failures and triumphs. The training was rigorous, pushing Davin to his limits, but it also forged a deep bond between Master and Apprentice. Through the lens of Vapod, Davin learned to confront his fears and desires, using them as tools rather than shying away from them. It was a perilous journey inward, but with Mace's guidance, Davin began to understand the true nature of the Force, not as two opposite sides, but as a single entity with a spectrum of energies to be harnessed. As Davin grew stronger, so did his resolve to stand against the Sith. He understood that the galaxy needed protectors who were not bound by the old dogmas, but who were willing to explore the full potential of the Force to bring about balance and peace. Over the span of two years, Davin transformed under Mace Windu's tutelage, embodying the strength resilience, and balance between the light and dark sides of the Force that Mace had envisioned. His progress exceeded Mace's expectations, signaling that it was time to broaden their impact. Utilizing the map from the ancient Jedi holocron, Mace and Davin set out to find two more apprentices, individuals who can be capable of enduring the rigorous and unconventional path of training they offered. As time passed, Mace's group of Jedi, trained in his ways, grew both in numbers and in strength. They became a formidable force. During this time, Mace experienced a profound connection in the Force with Master Yoda, one of the few surviving members of the Old Jedi Council. Yoda, sensing the turbulent path Mace was on, issued a warning. He cautioned that the approach Mace was taking, training his students in both the light and the dark sides of the Force, carried great risk. It endangered not only the lives of his students, but the very balance Mace sought to protect. However, consumed by his desire for vengeance against the Empire, Mace chose to continue on his path, believing it was the only way to defeat such a powerful enemy. Tragedy struck when the very risk Yoda warned of came to fruition. One of Mace's students, who had shown great promise, became seduced by the dark side's power. Feeling restricted by Mace's teachings and desired more power, the student betrayed the group. Striking a dark bargain with the Empire, he revealed the location of Mace's fledging Jedi Order in exchange for a position as an Inquisitor, one of the Empire's feared Jedi Hunters. The tension was palpable as the Empire descended upon the secluded planet, a force led by Darth Vader himself flanked by a legion of stormtroopers. The air crackled with anticipation of the immediate clash, one that could determine the fate of Mace Windu's fledging Jedi Order. Mace standing firm at the forefront of his assembled group imbued them with a sense of purpose and unity. Our time is now. Together we stand a chance. Together we can win. As the standoff commenced, Vader, clad in his opposing black armor, halted his advance, his gaze fixed on Mace. The sight of Windu, alive and defiant, was a shock to the Sith Lord, who had long presumed him dead. The air between them was charged with a history of conflict and a profound disturbance in the Force. Mace, undeterred by the sight of the dark figure before him, recognized the presence that haunted his memories. Anakin, so consumed by your failures, you've become more machine than man. His words were deliberate aimed to unsettle Vader, to remind him of the path he had chosen and the cost it had exacted on his soul. Vader, unmoved by Mace's provocation, signaled to the crowd. 
reveal yourself. He commanded, his voice deep and resonant through his mask. It was then that the traitor among Mace's ranks stepped forward, a figure who had once stood alongside them as a brother in arms. The betrayal stung, not just for Mace, but for all who trusted and fought alongside the defector. The traitor, now downing the position of an inquisitor, stood beside Vader, a stark symbol of the dark path that awaited those who succumbed to the lure of power and the dark side. The revelation sent ripples of shock and betrayal through Mace's group, but it also galvanized them. They knew what they were fighting against, the very embodiment of the corruption and the fall from grace that the Empire represented. Mace, locking eyes with Vader, knew this confrontation was inevitable. This ends now.